Hi everyone, Corey here from Tales from a Polk County Girl. And in this video, I'm going to show you my Passion Planner Roadmap that I finally got done. And then a quick January flip through to show you uh, just, you know, how I filled out the pages and what I use certain parts for. In the uh, Passion Planner Facebook pages, there's been some requests for the uh, non-pretty, in quotes, non-pretty, uh, and non-decorated more videos for those of us that don't decorate and I am happy to oblige um, so let's get started so as you all know I have the classic size passion planner I printed out the PDF and I keep it in a mead flex binder so I have the ability to flip it back like a spiral notebook which I love and for anybody that questions whether or not I love flex binders, please see my blog and YouTube channel for the extensive amount of videos I have on them. So I'm just going to skip that page because I don't have it filled out. So here, um, a fresh start. Um, I filled this out, you know, what's the biggest goal I want to accomplish. And I wrote down having my traveling knitter manuscript ready for submission. I finished the final chapter um, January 10th, which is great because I gave myself till the end of the month, January 31st, to get it done. And uh, so now I'm working on uh, typing it up. Uh, okay, what motivates you the most? Seeing progress on any project and crossing things off my to-do list. I know that sounds very generic, but for me, that is how I do keep myself motivated. I, if I look at, um, like, if I have a big project and I'll write out what all the steps are that I need to take, as I complete each step, I cross it off, and I actually do write a completion date next to it. Um, like, Actually, let me pull it out of here. If you've watched any of my Golds videos, that's an excellent example. As you see, like, um, right here, make, make a list. I did it, and I wrote the date that I completed it. That really helps keep me motivated. Write some words of encouragement for yourself to read during the hard times. And for me, I really did have to write down the cliches. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Work a little bit towards your goal every single day or each day and that's what I have to keep reminding myself is it's not gonna happen overnight it's gonna happen eventually but I do have to work towards it okay and this is my passion roadmap it I honestly I didn't know how to fill this thing out because to me this is a very this this wasn't easy I didn't know if maybe I should have just gone with writing goals or travel goals or savings goals. I really did not know what to do, so I just wrote down everything. Um, so yeah, for three months, I wanted to have uh, the manuscript typed up at least and maybe have completed my first edit. I actually have a five or five to six step editing process, which I'll talk about in another video. Um, so yeah, April 9th is, a. that's my deadline for that. My one year is, um, have that manuscript submitted for publication. So hopefully by January, 2018, it will be ready and I will have gotten through the entire process, my entire editing process. But that will of course depend on the one or two beta readers that I am going to ask to read over my manuscript before I send it in. Um, am working on or have completed the second Traveling Knitter book. Yes, this is going to be a series, and I do have the book outlined, and the rest of the series kind of outlined, but um, I have not started writing the book yet. I wanted to get the first one typed up. Then I want to plant more fruit trees. My husband and I are trying to be... Um, trying to grow a lot of our own food um, and because we're in Florida that gets pretty interesting because of the weather but we do have some fruit trees that will grow really well down here so I think if may and produce is some of the most expensive stuff that you can buy because it's perishable 
So I figure if we can, you know, at least eat some of the food that we grow or grow some of the food that we eat, you know, both that can go either way. Um, that'll save us a little bit of money. And by next year, I hope to have our house more or less put together. We still have a few rooms in this house that are practically empty because, you know, we refuse to, uh, take on any additional debt to pay for stuff, to just buy furniture. We're not going to take out a loan just for furniture. We'll just, you know, cut back and save money until we can find what we want and then pay cash for it. In three years, I really want to do a food tour of Italy. I've always wanted to do that. But um, I jokingly said to a friend's fiance, who is Italian, I said to him, it's like, oh, I want to do an eating tour of Italy, but I know that'll take, that'll take two or three years. He said, yeah, two or three years consistently, not two or three years on and off. So that's the joke is that we're going to take a leave of absence and go eat our way through Italy for three years. Oh, I wish. I wish. Um, another one, another travel go goal is... Uh, we want to go into Monaco for a day to see the uh, F1 track. Monaco is my favorite F1 race, and uh, we just want to go do that. Um, go see Loch Ness up in Scotland. Um, my husband has seen it. He's like, why would you want to see that? It's a big brown mud puddle. And I told him not to stomp on my dream, and I wanted to have a picnic on the shores of Loch Ness, so one day we will do that. And also, uh, want have an indoor garden up and have it thriving, hopefully. Uh, we do have an enclosed uh, porch, Florida room kind of thing on the back of the house. It used to be an outdoor room. The original owners enclosed it, and it has a big windows where the sun comes through. And so we're going to put shelving up in front of those windows and grow lettuce and herbs. You know, stuff that really can't take the harsh Florida sun. And my lifetime goals. Um, be completely debt-free in 10 years. Um, that's when we want to pay off our house. So we are debt-free except for our house. So that's a goal. Um, I'd like to save a million dollars for retirement. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, I need to consult people more knowledgeable than myself. Uh, publish a book. I This has really been a lifelong dream for me. Um, I've wanted to publish a book since I was four years old. So, yeah, this is like my big one. And then kind of an offshoot from that. I'd like to make money from books that I publish. I mean, that's not too much to ask for, right? And then, okay, the passion plan. This one, I think I screwed up. So I chose, you know, having Traveling Knitter book one manuscript typed up by April 9th. And, you know, to do that, it was, I had to actually finish it, which I did. Oh, sorry, I finished it on the 17th, not the 10th. Oops. Uh, spend one hour, and to do that, I'm going to spend one hour a week typing it up, like either Tuesday nights or an hour on Sundays. What I've actually been doing is any time, it's several times a week, I'm actually sitting down to type up five pages at a time. So it doesn't seem like much, but again, it seemed a lot. I made that decision be later after I had written this down because I forgot. Because I don't look at the, I don't look at my planner. Bad Corey. Uh, my editing process, edit one, edit two, I just kind of combined uh, three months in one year, the whole having the manuscript typed up and having it ready for submission. I just kind of combined everything <laughs> onto this passion plan and, uh, you know, outline book two and make notes. So that's how that's going. Okay, this is how I ended up doing my uh, monthly layout, and um, I think I showed this in the first video, but what you may, there have been additions to it, as well as work stuff. I'm also using it as my editorial calendar for my blog. I, 
my I try to post three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I write out what posts I want done. I want to, what blog posts I want to have up. And um, then I'll work towards them. Like this week, I know I'm going to do my blog links post. And if we flip over to February, uh, February 2017 goals update video, which I've, I just filmed that one. And Passion Planner January flip through. So once those are that done, then I'll figure out what I want to post the next week, and I'll um, get that done. And then I was trying to, you know, keep, like, my goals right here, and uh, that didn't really work for me because I can't really write out anything, and I didn't like that, so I'm not going to be repeating that. I think I'm what I might put on here is... Um, because I do have, uh, no, I don't, didn't write it on here. You know, I have my monthly bills and checkoff list right here. So I don't know what I'm going to use this space for, and I did not put anything in this month's game changer. So to do the weekly flip through, you guys have seen this picture before. This is what the first week of January looked like for me. I was still getting to know the passion planner and how did I want to use it, blah, blah, blah. And mine's very simple. I don't decorate. I just color code with a little with highlighters to show my working hours and then the ink colors um, stand for specific things. The next week, I got a little more into it. Uh, anything work related is in blue. Anything in black is just a general note. A uh, blue is anything to do with the house or my husband. Purple is goals, um, side hustles, personal stuff. And um, once my Coletto pen, once the red ink runs out in, in that one, since I have a ton of red pens, I'm just going to replace the red ink with an orange refill because I use orange for exercise and right now exercise is just being done in uh, like here boxing and yoga and stretching it's all being done in green but uh, I started getting used to the space of infinite possibility where I would just make notes and keep track of stuff and you know filling out what this fo week's focus is and good things that happen this is stuff that I do fill out throughout the week and uh, what I've also started to do is um, taking the weekly challenge, and if I have achieved it somehow, I will write, and you'll see this on the next week, I write what I actually did. So, okay, this was last week. And uh, a little more hectic, a little more filled in. I'm not freaking out so much about the blank spaces anymore. I don't. I don't know what it is, but I'm no longer um, having to fill in every single little space, and I love that. Um, so yeah, like um, great things that happened. We got a great deal on some cabinets at Kane's. They were on clearance, and they were what we wanted. And having a pickup truck, we were able to bring them home, and so we saved money on a delivery fee. Finished my novel and began typing it up. Remember what I said about the weekly challenge? Um, this one was, remember that happiness is a choice. Express gratitude by writing a thank you note to someone you appreciate. Um, I missed the everyday part, so appreciate this week. So I wrote my mom a thank you note. She's got a lot on her plate and um, doesn't always get all the help she needs and... Uh, yeah, so I just wrote her a note to tell her that I was thinking about her and how proud of her that I was and all that stuff. Anyways, rambling. But personal to-do list, this is usually where I'll write what blog posts for the upcoming week I need to write, any house errands I need to run, work to-do list is work to-do list, and I've got a big project I'm working on right now. Space of infinite possibility is still the random notes and all that stuff and when like if I don't get it done like 
I really need to clean out our filing cabinets. It goes into my, and it's not here, my mini flex, which is my big brain dump book. So, um, yeah, this last week, um, these notes right here I need to add in. I still need to catch up on required comments, all that stuff. Um, this is this past week, um, you know, lots of blue, lots of random, not random colors, but I feel when I look at it that things are evenly um, spaced out. And I don't check, I don't cross things off. I use the little time. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but I use the, the time stamp. If I do it, I check it off. If I don't do it, like I didn't go to boxing on Thursday because I had a massive headache, I just exit out. So that's, instead of crossing it out, I just that was that's my little check off box. So this week's focus was the bobbin lace workbook and writing out recipes. Didn't happen. Good things that happened. I sold a pink mini flex on Amazon. I'm very happy about that. We got some. We went to Pig Fest yesterday and got some free barbecue. And I got to hang out with two really good friends last night. So that was awesome. This week's challenge was active steps towards improving your health, and I wrote down that I went back to boxing because I had taken last week off, and then we did like a five-mile hike around Circle B Reserve. So, this being the last few days of January and coming into February, I don't have much written down yet. Tuesday, I will be doing the month, my first ever official monthly reflection. And later on today, I'm going to uh, um, fill in the rest of the week. But that's how it looks. Decoration a la color coding. So if anybody has any questions, please let me know. And if I say in the comments below, I'm just copying another uh, YouTuber. So uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this for those that... Feel like you can't have a planner without decorating it yes you can because while some may like the pretty there are plenty of us that have to have the function over the pretty so you're not alone okay take care everyone bye